Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well. Okay, so today's just gonna be a hair update. Um, a lot has gone down with my hair, girl. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so first things first, I relaxed my hair. I was 10 to 12 weeks post. I'll put the number of weeks on the screen. I used the Dr. Miracles relaxer, uh, no lie kit, same old, same old. I got a trim too, but before I get to that, I want to tell you about how I, <laughs> this is so embarrassing. I tried to go ginger, but it was a total flop. So I'm just going to insert some pictures here on the screen somewhere. I think <sighs> there were so many things I was just like, I don't even know. First of all, I don't know why I thought that I could pull off doing this by myself. Like usually I'm so used to like doing things by myself and nailing it just from watching YouTube videos. But this was like a totally different thing and if you have jet black hair or you've been dyeing your hair black for a long period of time, I don't recommend trying to color your hair yourself because I tried to go ginger and my hair turned green <laughs> like it turned green and I think now looking back it was because my strands were so stained by the black that I've been putting on my hair for like five years now so I tried to lift my hair but it turned green it was an epic failure it was a hot mess I was like you know what I can't go into my birthday looking like this so I went to the beauty supply store girl and I bought some black dye and I went back black I still left some um, highlights in the front I don't know if you guys could see it but um you might be able to see right there anyway so basically like those highlights just to you know, because I wanted something different. I was like, mm, I'm turning 24, I want something different. But child, please, that wasn't a different I was going for. It was a hot mess. Don't do that if you're home. Um, also, thanks for all the birthday wishes. For everyone who wished me happy birthday, really appreciate it. But yeah, girl, my hair was, my hair was May 20, like a couple days before my birthday, my hair was looking a hot mess. So, don't try to color your hair at home. I know there's tons of YouTube videos on it. But if you already have color in your hair, especially black, go to a professional to let them lift the color. But <laughs> yeah, because black is stubborn. So that ain't just coming out with one uh, lifting or one process. So you're going to have to go over that multiple times. And having a relaxed hair, I just wasn't about to do that. So I used a box dye. I used Cream of Nature Ginger. And um, I watched a gazillion videos on it. People loved it. It turned out beautifully on some of the videos I watched. And I thought, you know, I was like, okay, well, if y'all could go ginger from black, then I could do it too. But my hair was like, nope. And I think too, it's because I've been dyeing my hair for so long. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. It just, it just didn't work out for me. So I was like, you know what? Let me just go back black. Black is low maintenance. Um, I was gonna go red, but I was like, if I go red, because my hair was like, as you see, it was green. So I was like, mm, no, I wanna go red. Some parts was a little bit orange-ish. Some parts was green-ish. So I was like, I could probably go red. But then red just bleeds and I just wasn't about to have like red dye all over my pillowcases like I don't like that and my black doesn't bleed as much as my as like red hair like even when I wash my hair a little bit of my my semi-permanent dye comes out but when I'm styling my hair on a regular dye you know all, you know, all over my fingers and stuff I just feel like red just it just gets everywhere and, and it stains and then like if your hair gets wet that's another thing if if I get wet in the rain which is likely because I mean it's London if I get wet in the rain and my hair start dripping on my clothes like could you imagine my hair just dripping on my clothes like yeah so 
um that's why i didn't go right so i was like you know what the safest thing for me to do right now is to go by black so i got a black velvet dye and i left some strands in the front of my hair uh brown from well actually no this wasn't brown this actually was it was like an orange reddish orange but when i put the black dye on it it kind of turned this brown color so i like it i guess this was like my little highlight version of highlight but i don't know i just wanted something different for my birthday because i've been having black hair for so long and i was like mm, i want something different but i realized that one black is low maintenance and i could do it myself i don't have to keep going to a salon or going through the hassle you know like trying to find a salon then when you find a salon it's like hours away oh, it's a lot so i was like you know what let me just yeah go back to black and um yeah i like it and also i gave myself a trim now i don't <sighs> y'all i know y'all watch me but you don't have to do this i take risk with my hair like if i cut off too much that's fine it grows back you know like it's fine but if you don't feel comfortable cutting your hair yourself then don't do it i just did it because i was like my hair needs to trim yeah when i realized that i wouldn't be going to a salon anytime soon i was like you know what let me just trim my hair so i ordered some scissors and i watched deeper than hair tv and also i watched deeper than hair tv video to like help me figure out how to do it and then i also watch dope ethiopian video on how she trimmed her hair so yeah i gave myself a little bit of a cut to be honest okay this part get got wet i think in the shower so it's a little bit frizzy um, I got some hair scissors, hair shears. Don't use a kitchen knife because it's just gonna damage your hair even more. Um, apparently, it sh it shocks the strand. So if you already struggle with split ends, then kitchen scissors just gonna make it even worse. Um, so yeah, I got some hair shears from Amazon. It took like a day to come. So get some hair scissors and let someone who you trust do it. If you don't trust, do it for yourself. So, don't cut your hair yourself if you don't want to, or don't trim your hair yourself if you don't want to, if you don't feel comfortable. If you if you have like dark black hair like me, go to a professional if you want to like lift the color. Like I was trying to get ginger. I don't know, I don't know what, you know what though? I was just like, what do I have to lose? If it works, it works. If it don't, it don't. <laughs> yeah um so it looks all right i think it looks all right now if you part through certain pieces of my hair some of my roots are still like low-key blonde <laughs> but whatever nobody's gonna see that i'm trying to figure out what else what else i have to tell you guys i just wish you guys could see the brown a little bit more okay you could see it just right here but yeah, um, I thought it was noticeable, but people actually noticed it. Like, did you get highlights? And I was like, oh, you noticed? <laughs> I didn't think it was noticeable. So let's talk about the trim. I wanted this side to be like even to this side. This side, y'all, be growing like weeds, really. But this side, just, I don't know. Pray for my hair <laughs> that sounds so shallow ignore that yeah so i just wanted to be a little bit more even but um yeah this is kind of like where we're at um so yeah i guess i gave myself a little bit of, cu of a cut again uh just because like i want to do more frequent trims um i know i say that I think I say that a lot. I'm not sure the last time I said that. But I didn't have any scissors. But now it's just like, when you just order some, like, you know. But So I ordered some. I stopped procrastinating and ordered some. I still feel like I, I could take off a little bit right here, though. But I don't want my hair to be uneven. So, yeah, y'all. It's kind of like where, where we are at. I 
an oil I've been loving that I used to when I was in high school oh my goodness this brings back so much memories when I was in high school I used to love this oil and it was argan oil and when I got the box dye they gave me like a little a little cute little tester of it and y'all I forgot how good this oil actually is like ever since I flat ironed my hair I just like to put it on the ends put it all to my hair like it's the best I love it it's like when my hair is flat ironed like when it's straightened it's it's hard to I can't really use my moisturizer because it turns wet so yeah it would just make my hair frizzy and weighed down so I think this is this oil is like the perfect alternative it's like the perfect mix between moisturizer but like you still get like sheen and shine so I love that about this oil I love that this part is frizzy from the shower just ignore that I'm trying to hide the frizzy part like yeah so that's but yeah so as you can see this part is always going like it's thicker and then this part is just you know it's just hair whatever so hair whatever no pun intended it's hair like sitting hair that's what I meant not hair that goes up you get the point but um yeah I guess you could tell it's late at night <laughs> I'm gonna turn around so you guys can see the length. I still think I could cut off a little bit more off this side, but we'll see how it goes. That's basically my hair y'all I really wish y'all could see like the highlights in front it looks so much darker on camera but in person it actually looks lighter I think it frames my face really well um I was actually going for ginger but ginger wasn't going for me so here we are black with brown let me see if I could show you the oh now you could see okay my hair's a little bit weighed down because it's been flat ironed for a couple days now and I have put a lot of product in it because I was going out. <laughs> I think that's it. Like let me know like if you guys have any questions, I would be happy to tell you anything you want to know about my hair and I, I think that's it. Like this video if you liked it, share it with a friend, and um, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.